hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so there is a new version available for blemsync which is 1.2 so you can download that from the blemsync website i will leave a link on the comment section down below so uh, so you have to go all the way down so have to go all the way down so over here you can see this is the file you need to download you need to download blimsync 1.2.0 and the blimsync kernel and if you scroll all the way up so over here you can see it will tell you that how how to install I mean how to upgrade from 1.1 to 1.2 so on this video I will be upgrading from 1.1 to 1.2 so over here you can see I have already downloaded the latest version which is uh, 1.2 so over here you can see these are the files so I just need to um, copy and paste these two folder on my on my PS classic memory stick that's all I need to do so now let's extract this to the desktop so guys so the so this two folder has been extracted to the desktop So over here you can see it has been extracted over here so now I need to so I need to copy both of this folder to the PlayStation Classic memory stick which is this one so this is my USB stick for PS Classic so I'm gonna copy and paste over here it's gonna take some time So guys, when you copy and paste on your existing file, it will ask you to either replace the file or just skip this file. You just have to click replace the files in the destination. So guys, over here you can see the, the new version of the BlemSync has been copied on my PS Classic memory stick so um, so yeah so that's all you need to need to do now you need to unplug your um, PS classic memory stick from your from your PC or laptop and then you have to connect that USB on your PS classic so guys over here you can see my uh, USB stick is connected on my PS classic so uh, so now let's power on this device so we can see it is installing the custom payload The console is now restarting. So 
So guys, so now let's launch Blemsync. So guys, over here you can see I'm using my uh, PS4 controller. So you can see all of these games installed on my USB stick. So that's the new new feature. It's called folder menu, and then you also got game manager from from here. You can also delete the games you don't want to play anymore. So now let's go to the game manager. So over here you can see on the bottom bottom right hand corner uh, you will see a option to delete. You just need to press triangle if you want to delete a game you don't want to play. It's that simple. Now you don't have to go to your laptop or PC to delete a game. So it's really a useful feature they have implemented on this latest version so now let's exit from here <laughs> and this is this is also a new feature which is really helpful which lets you create a new folder and you can keep your games inside that folder So yeah guys, uh, so that's all you need to do to upgrade uh, from your from version 1.1 to 1.2. It's really simple. And as you can see, the games are working absolutely fine. And I'm using my PS4 controller to play this game. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for today. It's really simple to upgrade. So, um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Bye.